Everything in order, Miss Carleaf? As far as safe houses goes, it's really at the pits. <laughs> but totally secure. No one's going to find you there. I'll just be glad when Rokos convicted and we can go home. Another 48 hours and you'll be free to do as you like. I can't wait, Peacock. This case is doing me in. You do get some sleep. We'll make sure you're not disturbed. I'm getting an intruder alarm from the records room. Check it out, Bob. I'm on my way. speak to you. You sure he didn't want to speak to Ed, the Bureau Chief? No, he asked for you by name. Not only does he know the Bureau exists, he also gave the correct Level 7 code requesting assistance. Well, who is he? He won't say. He won't say anything till he sees you. I'm DOIC. You better start talking. You. Good to see you, son. mother killed in a car crash yeah she was quite young it's terrible look it never mentions his parents now i know why and there's more his father worked out of washington for an off the books u.n intelligence agency according to this he was one of their best operatives after his wife's death he disappeared suspected defection Rumours of agents compromised, secret documents leaked, operations sabotaged. No wonder he wasn't pleased to see him. OK, let's not rake over the Beckett family business. We've more urgent things to deal with. Tasker Tech need our help. The communication satellite people? They also had a break-in last night. One of their new prototypes has been stolen. The Tasker C3i. The new uplink module? Um, Adam mentioned it. Oh! Well, if the Hive know all about it, you'll know what a powerful piece of equipment it is. Whoever's stolen the C3I must be planning something serious.
I'll let you out, then. Yeah, thanks for that. That was Jen's doing. I'd have left you in there. You've got it all wrong about me. I doubt it. Nice place you got here, then. Well, will be. Maybe I'll come over, give you a hand. You come back after all this time to give me DIY tips? No. I need your help. You've got a nerve. Ten years without so much as a postcard. Ten years, Dad! I may not have been around, but I never stopped being your father. I followed your career. Navy, the high freelancing with Roz and Ed. So you kept tabs on me. You defected, Dad. You cannot make that one go away. I did not defect. It's in the records, Dad. In black and white. It's also in the records that Ros Henderson died. You have been keeping tabs on me. My defection was a cover story. I'm still in the game, but not in counter-espionage. I now go after the heads of international organized crime. So how come you got caught breaking in last night? I'm looking for a couple of colleagues of mine. Agents, tucked away in safe houses, waiting to give evidence against a certain Vladimir Rokov. Rokov? Mm. Nasty bit of work. Ex-KGB. He's been my number one target for years. He's being held in secrecy, pending trial at the International High Courts of Justice. I mean, personally, I would have done what we used to do and put him six feet under, but <laughs> time's changed. Who are these two agents? They're key witnesses. My agency in Washington specializes in deep cover. For the past three years, Carl Eve and Zeelander have been working their way to the top of Rokoff's empire. And they've become part of his inner circle. Then they helped set him up. Yeah, but I mean, if these agents are in safe houses, then what? Well, what's the problem? Well, Rokoff has power, even in jail. Now, I've got a feeling that Carl Leaf and Zeelander are in danger, and if anything happens to them, well, the case against Rokoff collapses and he goes free. Right, so, uh, where do I fit into all this? I mean, this is something for your boss. He's taken me off the case. Hang on. He did what? That's why I broke in last night. I have to find out where Carly and Zeelander are staying. All oh, right. I'll get the picture. So you broke in, you run into a brick wall, and now you're turning to me as a last resort. Oh, thank you very much. Nick, we're family. You still seeing Adam? Yeah. And? Well, at least he understands the kind of work I do. <laughs> An understanding man. Which enemy can cook next? I'll have to report back. We've only had three dates so far. <sighs> More than Beckett and I have had. It's not too late, is it? We're here. Are you sure the bureau chief doesn't want to see this for himself? No. We're not from the typing pool, you know. Thieves had a very specific target. Once they'd breached our perimeter security, they could have taken any number of items. But they chose the task of C3I. C3I, command, control, communications, and intelligence. Who told you that? You just did. Why? Was it meant to be a secret? Let me explain the function of my C3I. It's an uplink module designed to send complex digital data over any global communications network. Yes, and more or less, with an unlimited capacity for traffic. Unlimited? <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> unlimited for all practical purposes. As yet, we only have the one working module. That is, we did. The intruders came prepared. Our video cameras were blinded. The electrified outer fence bypassed. And then they punched through a reinforced concrete wall like it was carbon. Wow. Now, what on earth could make a hole like that? Actually, I think I know. 
I saw something demonstrated at one of those endless trade shows that Channing dragged me to. It uses very high-frequency audio waves. You mean like a kind of sonic weapon? Exactly. Focused, directed ultrasound. Now, the one I saw was just a prototype brought over by the designer from Russia. So this thing could be in mass production now? I don't think so. Word has it the designer got mixed up with a Moscow warlord. Neither him or his invention have been heard of since. Until now. Becky, I found Rokov. He's in a special holding unit. I'm with the warden now. And what's he accused of? Almost everything you can think of. Apparently, over the years, he's netted a hundred million. Carl, even Zeelander are the chief prosecution witnesses, just like your father said. The word is, Rokoff was arrested just before he was about to pull off something really big. Bigger than a hundred million? <laughs> yeah, apparently. That's why he's been sent here. One prisoner, ten guards. Look, um, my father seems to think that he's pulling strings from the inside. Can you do me a favour and check out the security for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Everything check out? Well, it seems to. We found Rokov. We're not Karliv and Zelanda. Well, now you know I'm telling the truth. Let's get going. Dad. Dad, hang on a minute. Dad, come back. We think he could be planning an attack against the witnesses. I'm inside here. He's not allowed visitors. The building's mostly underground. What do you think he's going to do? Borrow out? for a long shot. I think my timing may just surprise you. Slow down, we're going too fast. You sound like your mother. You're going so fast, you meet yourself coming back. <laughs> Mum had a mantra for every occasion. I haven't forgotten. All right, well, slow down then. I don't know how you dare show your face around here. Oh, I came in by the front door this time. And I have full authority from Bureau 2 to take the info on the safe houses. Is that correct? Mr Beckett, there's really no reason for concern. Protecting witnesses is our business. As you can see, the safe houses are constantly monitored with interactive video. Oh, great. So you watch on TV as Rokoff's men attack? They won't find Carly and Zeelander. Their whereabouts are secure on our computer, and that's impregnable. That doesn't sound like impregnable to me. Where's that? It's the main server! Backup tape. Impregnable, eh? Rokoff's out. 
And now he's going to know exactly where those witnesses are. Zeelander, are you there? Zeelander, can you hear me? What's going on? Yeah, I'm here. It's all quiet. What's up? I'm not sure I can stand much more of this. Dad, we can help you, but we've got to do it our way. Yeah. But you're going to have to move fast, because it's not going to take Rokoff long to decode that data he stole. And then he'll be after the witnesses. This is exactly why Ed and Roz are moving them now. But now this Rokoff's free, why is he so keen to kill these people? Oh, he won't kill them. Well, why not? Because he needs them alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Dad, what are you not telling us? I've just been speaking to your boss in Washington. He tells me Carleaf and Zeelander only bought into Rokoff's confidence by means of a series of scams. Big ones. Hang on. You used live bait to set this guy up? Well, it had to look kosher. Oh. The only problem is they did it too well. Carleaf and Zeelander are now in the position to offer Rokoff the funds of 24 international charities. The bank uses a new transfer system. Code phrases spoken by designated people that come keys. Carleaf and Zeelander are these people. He needs their voices. So he can do all this with a phone call? Not on a regular call, no. It has to be made over a secure digital satellite connection. Oh, right. For which he needs an uplink module, like the Tasker C3i, correct? Exactly. What's that? A device's associates lifted last night. Why didn't you tell me that before? Why didn't we tell you? Hang on, you're the one that's been keeping secrets. Dad, where do you think you're going? To finish what I started. Well, no, let's hope your team aren't too late. How much further, do you reckon? Five minutes. It's an EMP bomb. It's taken out the electrics. Damn! Mr. Zeelander? Thank you. 
I'm at Zealander's safe house. Looks like he checked out early. You're quite sure Rokov hasn't got Zealander? He's already captured Farida Kali. Well, there are no signs of a struggle. No forced entry. And the security hasn't been tampered with. He must have seen what happened to Carly if he decided to take his chances on the street. Can we start a search? No, Ed, I think our best bet is to find Rokov. Well, the best way to do that is to locate the missing uplink module. We find that, we find Rokov. Thanks, Mr. Tasker. That's all we need to know. Right. Well, the C3I emits a signature signal after it's been away from its base for 24 hours. We should be able to rig up a tracker for it. OK, get on to it. Right. Nick. Hmm. Nick, I'm really sorry about your mother. I had no idea how she died. When you found my car and thought I'd been killed, you must have thought history was repeating itself. I never saw the wreck of my mum's car. And when we found your car, the only thing I could think about was you, Ross. Yeah. Was your mother in the service too? My mum, an agent. No. My father always said that two agents getting hitched was a recipe for disaster. Beckett? Hmm. Do you know who your father is? I have no idea, but I can find out. You didn't? I did. I put a bug on him. Who the hell are you? My name's Beckett. Another one? Well, I take it my father's been here, then. Well, what's it look like? Coming here, talking with his fists. He was looking for Rokoff, right? I tried to tell him I didn't know anything, but he wasn't listening. In the end, I put him onto Jim Paris. <laughs> now, you tell me what I want to know, Jim. I'll shove these Ben CDs right down your throat. Do you know what, Matt? I've never really liked you. You're tell me where I can find Rokov. There we go. Now, if Mr. Tasker is right, this should pick up the signature signal from the C3I. Alex, take the tracker and get on the road. And be careful. Just get us a location, then we can plan our next move. OK, Chief. No heroics. Ed? Is Nick all right? Parents. Always an embarrassment. What surprises me is how you've managed to stay alive so long. I get by. You're like a bull in a china shop. Oh, I'm sorry I don't have your finesse. I've been accused of a lot of things in my time, Dad. But finesse is not one of them. However, compared to you, my methods are downright elegant. And slow. You used to be a team player. Mm. Until your mother died. I do things my way now. You think I'd forgotten her? You certainly gave me that impression. You took off the day after the funeral, Dad. I had to. 
leaving me with the idea that you were a traitor. A defector. I didn't mean to hurt you, Nick. But I had to get after Rokoff before the trail went cold. Why couldn't you just stop and think about me for one minute, eh? You know, one day I lost my mum. The next day you were gone. What about me, Dad? Why can you think about nothing else except this Rokoff? You don't understand. It's all part and parcel. Rokoff, this, they're the same. Forgive me. Forgive me. Zealander? Man, how the... <laughs> Look, you've got to let me disappear. Well, I found you. You think Rokoff won't? Rokoff doesn't know me as well as you do. Which is why I can't believe you don't want to see this job through. Rokoff is your crusade, not mine. Khalif and I did our bit. He won't give up looking for you, no matter where you hide. The only way out is to stop it. And how are you going to do that? It's been a long time, Matt. Yes. Too long. So, you want to make a deal? That's why I'm here. Whatever happened to the incorruptible Matt Beckett? <laughs> I'm getting old. I want to get out of the game. Everyone's got their price, huh? Here's the deal. I give you Zealander, you collect the money, I get a cut. I call it my pension fund. Life's full of surprises. And what exactly is your price? Hey, you! Out! Come on, move it! Nick, what the hell are you doing here? It's true, isn't it? Everything they said about you being a traitor. You're just in it for the money. Why don't you keep out of this? What is this? You're trying to keep the business and the family. Let him go. He's not part of the deal. Oh, come on. You can drop the act now. After all these years, I know you. Better than my own shadow. I know that I'm standing on an explosive device right now, aren't I? This is a pressure pad. The moment we step off, it will explode. You have no intention of doing any deal with me. You live for the game, Matt. And you wouldn't give up on dear Elizabeth for any amount of money. Now, hand Zealander over to us, 
or you can watch me shoot your son. Don't do it for me, Dad. And I can't lose you, too. Come on, Sealander. Now you stay exactly where you are, Mr. Beckett. Is this a pressure pad? No. On a timer. Run! They thought they could trap me with those charity funds, but they'll be sorry they tried. I've got all the gear online. This is a really fancy bit of kit. Ross, come in. Tracker worked. I found Rokos on the satellite uplink. I've reprogrammed the C3I. You want to test? Yes, of course. Power it up. I want to see this thing work. Close down your laptop. C3I gives off a ton of RF radiation. So, check it out. Alex. Alex! Roz. Roz! She can't help you now. Come on. Alex has found the uplink, but I've lost contact with her. You've got her position. Right. I'll go to Alex. You go to Tuskatec and see if there's anything you can do to shut down the C3I. Yes, Chief. Jan, what about those two? Oh, it's all right. I'll see you to them. If you hadn't interfered, Rokoff would be history by now. And if you hadn't gone off half cops, he wouldn't have both Zealander and Carleef. How did you find me anyway? Like father, like son. When you two have quite finished, Alex has located Rokoff's base. Unfortunately, we lost contact with her. It's on his way to her last name position. I'll get after him. No, you stay here. Make sure your father doesn't leave this office. Hey, wait a minute. If you're about to take out Rokoff, I've got to be there. You can't cut me out of the loop now. Watch me. Save your energy. You'll only damage your wrists. It's better than just sitting here. You in the game. Bureau 2. You're young to be a field officer. I was in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Got a boyfriend? Same business? Yeah. Dump him. <laughs> Relationships with other spooks don't work. Take my advice, find someone else. Different job. Get out of this business. There's no future in it. It's being so cheerful that keeps you going, isn't it?
I can't believe it. Your lot are about to catch up with Rokoff and I'm stuck here. Why don't you trust us to get this man, Dev? That's not the point. I need to do this myself. <laughs> well, what is this, Ahab and the White Whale? Yeah, in a way. Bad. Why are you so obsessed with this man, eh? Hang on. When we saw Rokov, he said... ...you wouldn't give up on dear Elizabeth. How does Rokov know about my mother? Tell me, Dad. Your mother's car crash. It wasn't an accident. They were after me. They got her instead. No, no, no. There was an accident report. There was another car involved. Cover story. There was no other car. You know what it's like, Nick. They wrap a lie and a half truth. That's why I went into deep cover. Why don't you tell me this before, Dad? Why don't I have your life destroyed by this, too? We're flesh and blood, Nick. You wouldn't have rested till that man was dead. That's why you couldn't ever know. Let's get this sorted out. Which account are you going for? This one. The International Fund for Children. They've just done a Europe-wide telethon for these poor, deprived children. Their account's bulging at the moment. You want to do what? I need to use your system to monitor the target accounts. Now, that would be a breach of bank security. Yes, but letting Rokoff fill his pockets would be a greater crime, don't you think? Ros, I'm at Rokoff's place. How's it going at Taskatech? They've isolated one of the funds. It must be the one they're targeting. And Ed, it's the IFC. Can you stop Rokoff getting to it? No, they've activated some kind of lockout. Right now, no one but Rokoff can touch it. There must be something you can do. Can't you slow him down by some time? Well, I could try and overload the C3I receiving system. That's not possible. Ed, I'll get back to you. Look, Rokoff's signal won't get through if we clog up the system, jam it with enough useless data so that it runs slow. But my unit's been designed to take an unlimited number of simultaneous communications. You can't clog it up like a kitchen sink. Mr. Tasker, everything has its limits, even your splendid hardware. We just have to feed enough data to it, that's all. If you can overload C3I, I'll take you on tomorrow at any salary you name as my chief design consultant. Really? Your chief design consultant a woman? Mm. Wouldn't that get you thrown out of the golf club? Team player, yes? Yeah, right, OK. So all we would do, bottle up Rokoff and his boys, extract my people, and then stop the bank transaction. Yes, Dad, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do it together, OK? Right. We're ready for the first code phrase from Miss Carly. Say it. No. Kill me and you'll never be able to get the money. Well... She's a bureau agent. 
She knew the risks when she signed up. What? No loyalty between fellow agents? Oh, well. For God's sake, Farida, she's just a kid. Haven't enough people died? Give him what he wants. My name is Farida Khalif. Voice ID and Delta 3942. And the rest? Memorable dateline, November the 5th, 2004. Thank you. Roz, what's the score? Well, Mr. Tasker doesn't think I'm up to it, but uh, we'll see. Ed, I'm going to flood their signal with tons of random data. Now, that will stop them ever dialing into the satellite. What, so they get a constant busy signal? Exactly. Like the internet around breakfast time in California. We're going in. I'm locked in and uploading. All the carriers are at full capacity now. That gives me 10 gigabytes per second on a continuously refreshing loop. That should put a little treacle on their information superhighway. As soon as the bank has recognized the first key, we'll be ready for you, Zaylander. I'm glad you realize that trying to stop me is futile. My name is Bill Zeelander. Voice ID, Omega 3691. Memorable location, Mount Tebulus, the Caucasus. She's taking longer than it should. The transfer rate's getting booked down by something. You know, I hadn't realised before, but the Bureau, the Secret Services, it's all in Beckett's blood. Though he tries hard not to show it. It's what he was born to do. Whereas you weren't. Is that what you're trying to say? I love it. The adrenaline buzz, doing the right thing. But for Beckett, it's more than that. It's his life. What he has to do. It's what he does best. Ed, are you saying you want to quit? Of course not. I want to stand down as bureau chief. Give Beckett his job back. OK. Um. 
was just getting used to you being around. They want me in Washington by yesterday. Maybe this time you could send that postcard. <laughs> I'll try. I saw the way you looked at Roz the other day. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, some things, you know, just... Don't let it stop you being friends. Life's too short. Deal.